So I'm now working on the audio side of things and the cabinet to see if I could fit everything in. And I was looking for my brad nails and I happened to come across this little piece of wire here. It's a nice front pocket find. So we're going high end here. I got the Campbell House filled one gallon air compressor. I was looking all around for my brad nails. Oh, there they are right on top. No, I was looking all around <laughs> my brad nails could not find them anywhere there would have been two spots where they would have been and they were not in one but I found that front pocket find so that was a good thing and then uh, kept looking kept looking kept looking found a little bag that included the original white box of brad nails that I had which was completely empty so I burned through them came with this guy had a Never had a video on this, but it was, uh, it's been around for a long time, and I've used it, and it works well. It's a Walmart special Airstream thing. What does this have to do with audio? You'll, you'll see in a minute. So I was searching all around, and find, I could not find the Brad Nail. So I went, checked Home Depot, and then got their price, and then looked on Amazon, and found... An Amazon one for 20 cents cheaper, and I'd have it five days sooner. So, yeah, ordered that and said, let me take another look. And then I found the original empty white box, which I kept because it says the kind, which is 18 gauge by one and a quarter inch. And then realized, oh, look at that. I was proactive and bought these at Harbor Freight at one point or another. So I gotta go get this charged up. Why? Well, let's go take a look at the cabinet. You know, when I had to break out a tape measure and the linesman's, as well as a flat blade screwdriver. Yeah, here's one of the shells. Hole, hole, more holes there. And there's two other shells in here. Not much light, so you'll just have to deal with it. Sorry. And in here we have the bottom shelf. And that also had nails as well as those like picture frame corrugated metal type jobbies which had no bearing being in this wood in the back corner of it and there is yet another small piece here which is triangular cut instead of trapezoidal and that goes on this shelf don't know why that's really strange oh I might have moved that no I couldn't have because that small piece was actually nailed in on this cleat that's here. That was the only one that was nailed in. Everything else was not. So here is the... You probably... I don't know if that tells you any... I can't read it, so... You could try your best with that. I don't know if that's showing you anything. This is a Zenith Allegro... Allegra all-in-one tuner amplifier in other words line in it has or aux in uh, record player which also does 45s and 78s so it's a record changer actually and uh, an 8-track player the wire hanging out the back with the green and yellow plugs are actually for the 8-track mechanism. You can unplug that and use that as another input if you wanted to. Might do that, because I don't have any 8-tracks. Uh, found this thing thrown out years ago. I'd rather it not be here, but I have nowhere else to store it. So while it works, I'll keep it in service. It's just that simple. Um, I had it standing upright on its end like it kind of is now uh, that's why I showed you the tape measure it will not fit any other way in here uh, it can only stand up that's the only way it'll go and it also weighs about 146.872 pounds so that's good the wooden board at the bottom cannot be nailed in because that up to the bottom of the top shelf which is where the components will go that's yet another story we'll get to in a second uh, it's too this thing is too tall 
sitting on that. But if I put it on, take it out of there and put it on the floor, it can sit on the board and then it will make it without any problem. So then I went looking for the brad nailer. Oh, I was here with the linesman's pliers removing all of the nails from all of these shelves. There must have been 16 of them uh, or even more than that. And they were all bent over. It's like they did this all drunk. I, I have no idea, like, what the fuck. This was here when I moved in, so I don't know. This was the original color of the wall uh, before it was painted this white color, which I, I mean, it could have, it could go either way. But anyway, it is what it is. It's painted, so that's that. Um... That's pretty much the deal, so now I have to get in here with this in my way and brad nail these shelves back in and this will have to just stand upright. Cable box and DVD player will have to go up here. There's definitely enough clearance as far as height goes for those two, but then we have two other problems. First of all is that they're probably too high up that when you hit it with the remote ain't gonna happen so that's a problem so we're gonna deal with that in a minute second reason is because when you close the doors it probably won't um, get the IR in there the way it's supposed to go either so I am gonna need an IR blaster at the very least uh, for this so it's just a bundle of fun. I can't wait for all this this is going to be great the IR blaster I'll deal with later I'll keep the doors open for now and I'll get that later on and probably have a video of it maybe can put these are just how it is okay could put the blasters inside here and it'll just blast it should be fine I think I'll toy around with it and see um, and it's just going to have to be mounted up there because this. It is what it is. So I got to get to what I can't even put the camera on a tripe. If I even did, then you're not going to see anything because and things and stuff. So um, I got to just get to work here. Yeah, this uh, this didn't work. First of all, I opened the magazine up. Uh, in the garage where I kept it and there were no nails in it so that's why I went looking for the nails I go to put nails in down here now that I have everything ready and there's a bank of I don't know maybe 30 nails in there how I didn't see them the first time I don't know but they were in there so then I went to go fire over here and the gun wouldn't fire we go but no nail so it took uh, just a bunch of fucking around and then it went and then up here what I didn't calculate is this corner beam brace I don't know if you can even see it the gun was too tall to fit so I missed twice over there and once over here we're just gonna cut those off with some diagonal cutters and nobody will ever know go ahead Neil give it your best shot Go ahead, just try to figure out what that is, Neil. <laughs> That's match game, but you're seeing the LCD from the wrong angle. See? So that's why... So that's that. So that's hooked back up. Everything is in. This video cable is taunt, but that's all right. And it goes up. Wow, that is really taunt. Okay, um, I have more slack on it. DVD player you can see the VFD unfortunately it's going to be hidden and the cable box way up inside here can't push the DVD player back any further but it's not in any danger of falling so that's all good so I think an IR blaster is going to be an absolute necessity um, this is the oh I'm sorry this is the S video cable this is the composite cable, but there's slack on that too, so no worries on that. So everything's back in. The stereo made it somehow. That's a great thing. Um, absolutely fantabulous. 
Uh, it's hooked up to the old system. So that works still. <laughs> Everything's good. And uh, that, I have to put the old computer box in here. Um, so I think we gotta slide that over there, Earl. And maybe it'll just fit for Cocktily. We'll see. There is the computer box. It definitely fits. And it sits a little because the wood that's down there, I know there's no light, but it just is. Um, but it fits, so that's the main thing. That's in there and good. And I like that kind a lot. It wouldn't fit on the little shelf back there. And definitely no room up on the top shelf. And putting it sideways there is kind of dumb. So it kind of is what it is, how it is. Now, I have one other kind of issue here. There's a transformer that goes to this Bluetooth thing. I'll put a link in the prescription to that. Uh, I use it for the Bluetooth function with uh, that uh, Amazon Echo bit. And uh, so that's all good there. This is the cable from the old computer here that's playing the music that then goes in here, runs up to the white and red connections there. Shouldn't really be using this because it's got too many open ports. Speaker wire, speaker wire, and the problem is there ain't no way. So I'm thinking of drilling two holes. One here to facilitate the left speaker and one here on the right. Unless I could sneak it in, it does not look like it. So I'm probably going to have to drill a hole through this wood. Yes, it's just it just is how it is. So that's it. What I was thinking of doing is taking the brad nailer and shooting a couple in there to shore that up. I think that might be tomorrow's project or whenever I feel like getting back to this. Uh, but everything is pretty well taken shape here. That has a little barrel jack connector, so that should fit if I drill a big enough hole. And I have an RCA to go through and a 3.5 millimeter. So if I size it just right, should be three cables going through there. And I should be able to make that work. And that way I won't have wires spilling out of this thing like that. And this is going to move, so that doesn't need to be there anymore. Could it fit on the shelf there? Probably not. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, we'll figure it out. You turn that off because I don't need that. We'll turn this off so we don't get copyright. There we go. And that is the audio project complete. Now, one last thing. I think I'm going to utilize that tape input. I'll have to check the controls panel here to see how that works. I don't know if you can just switch to it or if it automatically does. I think it automatically does when you put an 8-track in, so I guess that's useless. That's good. Thinking of routing the TV into that, because why the hell not? So I have a separate switch box for that that I could put in. That's not a problem. Um, but I also wanted to put a sound bar here, and that might be a problem because I was planning on hooking that up via optical because the TV has it and the soundbar has it but I don't know if the TV will output on that and on the RCAs at the same time if it does there might be an echo because timing and that so that's a little problem I'll have to work out in the end again these S-Video and composite cables are staying hanging for now until we get the TV up here. Obviously, I'll disconnect this crap first. <laughs> and then we can put the TV up here, and then, you know, we're in the home stretch now. Thank Frig for that. Anyway, that's going to do it. Audio reconfigurationings done. Thanks so much for watching. 
I really appreciate it. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.